Power Rangers. Rita Repulsa has sent down an evil cat monster named Mittens. He is extremely dangerous and must be stopped immediately. Go now, and may the power protect you. So my initial reaction was, ah, they put voices while I'm trying to morph. But look. Tyrannosaurus! So, you actually can have it just doing that. So when you put the coin in, like that, it'll kind of flash like that. So you could also do it that way. Smorphin' time! Tyrannosaurus! Right? And it's, it's blinking. Not quite like it did on the show, but it's doing something. I'm, of course, a video guy. If I buy something like this, it's a prop. I want to use it for a video. So, you know, when you do that, here's how they would do it on the TV show if this is the prop they were using. So maybe the range would go, Smorphin' time! Okay, cut. So that's, that's fine. The next shot, you're on the morpher background, and then you've got it like this. Tyrannosaurus! All right, let's see what I just did, but edited. Morpher time! Tyrannosaurus! Yeah! All right! Right? Totally doable. Okay, so take your morpher, Blue Ranger coin. Blue, okay. So now it's Blue Ranger. So again, that's one option or... There, now it's not gonna make any noise and it's gonna flash. So you've got two options for, you know, if you're doing a video. But still, if you wanted to do it in real time and just do, it's more for time. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. So, no buttons or on-off switch on the back. Various morphers. I think a more fair comparison is Bandai's 93 morpher to Hasbro's morpher, because, I mean, the legacy thing was just like unreasonably fancy, right? I mean, it's, it's die-cast metal, it's heavy, right? First, let's take a closer look at the various morphers. Hasbro's morpher comes with a base, which is compatible with all the morphers. Let's take a look. Here's Bandai America's original 93 morpher. Here's Bandai's Legacy Morpher. Season three slash movie. Starlight Studio Coins. And here's Hasbro's Morpher. In addition to the base, Hasbro's Morpher does come with the belt buckle, which also fits on the base. This is the back of a legacy coin, and the lightning coins have the rangers on the back. That's kind of cool. Bandai America's Morpher by far feels the cheapest, but it's also the most accurate because this is what they used on TV. They literally used the toy. This is a lot like Bandai America's. Right? Except it's like kind of upgraded. The coins are metal on Hasbro's, plastic on Bandai's. Don't they look similar? Hasbro's is bigger. Three AAA batteries. I've seen a bit of hate for this morpher, and I don't think I agree with that. I also don't agree that it's the best morpher ever, but I think it's pretty good. I think it does what it needs to do. It looks good. I like the color changing lights. The coins are nice. I like the stand. And to a lesser extent, the belt buckle. I never use that, but I'm glad it has it anyway. I actually haven't put it on yet. <laughs> There's definitely a workaround for anybody that just wants to, you know, like morph for a fan film or YouTube video or whatever else, or I don't know take a picture with the lights on or something. It differs from TV with the lens not being red and with the color changing lights, changing color with each coin, which is cool, but it's not screen accurate. I don't mind the, I don't mind it being the, okay, it had enough. <laughs> I don't mind, you know, the lights changing with each coin. I think it's kind of cool. On the box, it does say 18 plus. 
So if this is being aimed at adult fans and I was asked how would I make this perfect or at least improve upon it, I would say add a switch to the back, allowing you to turn it off, but to also switch between modes. Like one could have, this doesn't have music in it by the way. So one, it could have like the actor voices, maybe play the theme song, stuff like that. And then the other, it's like prop mode. So when you open it, it doesn't do the actor voices or even necessarily have sound because you don't want sound while you're doing video morphing, you know? So it would just have the lights flashing without audio or at least, I don't mind the buzzing sound. You can leave that, something like that. And you know, it, it um, the, the lights kind of twinkle like they did on TV. So then you could do your thing and then you could switch it back if you wanted a different mode that has the theme song or the actors, right? It looks good. It looks like it did on TV. It looks closer to the original Morpher. I mean, now they use the legacy Morpher on Power Rangers, but for 93 through 95, well, through in space, through Wild Force, through Overdrive? Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> at one point they stopped using the original. This is like an upgraded original Bandai 93 Morpher. That's how I see this. Oh, and the I'd probably put the lens back to being red if that doesn't mess up the colors, which maybe it does. Or do we need the lights to change color or just keep them red? I don't know, I could go either way. I do like the color changing lights. So those are my thoughts at the Hasbro Morpher, which you guys probably saw in the vlog I found in Walmart that was Hatfield, Pennsylvania. So they had like four or five of them there. I also got the Zord and an Alpha Lightning Collection figures, which I stuck at the beginning of this video, but we'll be back with more lightning stuff. I was gonna say, let's do a trivia question, but whenever I do the Mighty Morphin trivia, I always get a lot of, oh, that's too easy comments, which is kind of the joke. They're very easy questions. I always say they're gonna be really hard, but the joke is that they're really, really easy, but okay. For all the, oh, that's too easy people, here's, here's like a legit trivia question that I made up, okay. Power Rangers Jungle Fury, Blue Ranger Theo, True or false, has a twin brother, and if it's true, what is his name? So that is the trivia for... <laughs> Does Jungle Fury Blue Ranger have a twin brother, and if so, what is his name? That That's way harder than which power, which teenager is the Green Ranger in Mighty Morphin, right? All right, so that's the trivia question. I also wanted to thank Mittens for agreeing to be in the video. I think he did a really good job, really good acting, Mittens. So please give Mittens a big thumbs up. All right, I'm gonna end here. Hope you guys check out the vlog channel. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and you know what time it is. It is Marvel!